gang welcome back to my channel now as you can tell from the title of this vid today we are going to be talking all things home sense as you already know or if you don't if you're new here i used to actually work at home sense i have just recently left um, and i want to give you a bit of an inside scoop as to some of the hints tips and tricks that i would recommend to all you fabulous home sense shoppers ready for your next trip so you don't miss another amazing find so without further ado let's get into it so today's vid is going to be super chilled grab your cup if you want to grab your pen and your piece of paper because you're a serious video watcher and you need to know the full inside scoop then please do go ahead i literally i'm going to tell you all the things that i have learned over the years working for an amazing company so first things first this is a huge one that i had to bring up anyone who works for home sense or tk maxx will applaud me for saying this there is no stock rooms none at all we do not have a stock room if i had a pound for every time somebody asked me to check the stock in the back i would literally be a millionaire and probably would not even be having to record this video to be honest with you like we i say we i don't wait there anymore but they don't have stock rooms so literally a delivery comes off the wagon the room it's then processed it's then taken straight into the shop floor we physically don't keep anything in the back that's not how the shop works because obviously as you know what you see is what you get finding a treasured piece and finding a one-off is so true i literally can't look in the back and to be honest with you as i'm going to tell you like i'm going to spill the tea on something i used to do because i used to get that frustrated people used to ask me to check in the back and in the end i just used to go yeah have you seen that meme where <laughs> people walk into the back, just go like that and walk back out and be like, yeah, it's around the back, sorry. That was me. Do you know why? Because there was nothing for me to look at. Do you think that if there was something in the back, I would not want to go and get you it, help you, get it and come back? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not that type of girl, for one. I would actually genuinely want you to have the item that you're looking for. But it's genuinely so frustrating as a staff member when someone asks you to look in the back and you're like where am i looking because this is just a room with nothing in the back doesn't exist there's no back <laughs> there's no stock room so yeah that's that's secret number one there is no stock room another thing from kind of a stock perspective is that they can't actually locate stock because it is literally a one-off piece so the amount of times people are like can you check the system to see if that's in stock i'm like sorry where am i mustering this stock from everything is literally a one-off piece so <laughs> If you again think that we can check stock, oh my god, I've just said we again. I honestly, why do I still think I work there? I don't. Um, they can't check stock. Everything that you see is what you get, unless you physically went to another store to see if they had a duplicate. You are not going to find on that day another item, and no one will know. It's kind of like a visionary thing. So if someone came up to me and was like, "Have you got another one of these lamps in stock in the back?" I'd be like, first off, no. Would you be able to check in stock? No, because you can't do that. But have I potentially seen one because I'm the person who puts the stock out? Potentially. So that's the only way you are going to see an item of stock. Duplicate is in that format. So the big question is, do HomeSense get deliveries every single day? Your answer is yes. Yes, we do. I'm sure you've heard so many times the lady on the tannoy thing system that belts out. We get deliveries every day. She's genuinely not lying. Um... It's actually such a hard job working in retail as it is. But could you imagine if you're listening to this and you work in retail, imagine getting deliveries like every single day and having to get them off the van into the store in the same day. Like the job that I used to do and that people in Home Sense do is so underrated. The graph that goes into that workplace is so massively underrated. Like you are like you work so so hard like everyone that i used to work for in our team used to work hard and it was just such an underrated job anyway that's going off on one that's me just commending people in the shop but anyway make sure you know when the delivery time is so if you ask a member of staff actually in your local home center or tk maxx whichever one you prefer i hope it's home center if you're watching this is all i'm saying but if you actually ask the member of staff they will inform you of what time their delivery is and they can also give you a rough estimate as to when the stock might be out on the shop floor as well because as you know if it comes off the van and the employees have to get it from the back into the shop then obviously it might take a fair bit of time so do make sure some stores get it in the morning time after 
afternoon, evening, it honestly varies. So make sure you ask your local members of staff in the store because as you are aware, Home Sense are very open members of staff and they are more than happy to help you. So just ask. There's literally no harm in asking you. Like nothing is a secret. And staff want to give you the product just as much as you want the new in stock. Do you know what I mean? That's why like I used to love my job merchandising because of the new stock. It just gives me so many new fresh ideas, like being able to work with that every single day and having to do such a quick turnaround. It's not a shock. That is basically like it works off like one model. So, like, say for example, I mean, this could be, I don't, I don't know, but maybe Matalan might have like one season idea and all the merchandise and sticks to that for the one season. That's why Home Sense, like, if you see, like, the end of the aisles changing so regularly, that's why it's such a fast-paced turnaround store. It's just giving you a different experience every single day. I was always so lucky being in there every day and, and, and being able to post stuff on my stories was because I was literally there when the deliveries were happening. So I do definitely miss that aspect of it. But a bonus is, though, that I still know all the staff men members, so I still do get the inside scoop on deliveries because I do get FOMO, I'm not going to lie. For the next little tip is location, location, location. Majorly important when you are shopping at HomeSense. There will be stores that get much better stock than other stores and sometimes that might be based on where it's located and obviously if it's more sort of like affluent neighbourhood, I want to use the word. So obviously if there is certain areas where shoppers are more likely to purchase specific things in that home sense, they will get sent the better product. So, you know, for example, I know specific stores in my area that gets better furniture stock, so to speak, or this or that or the other, and it's definitely related to the location of the store. So make sure you know your area well, make sure you have a little browse through all the different home centres because there will be multiple in your area, and you'll kind of get a vibe and the gist of what kind of, kind of area it is, what kind of stock they get, whether they get stock you like or whether they don't, because some areas will get completely different stock to others depending on style of customer and buyer and sort of things like that. So definitely make sure you are a regular home sense shopper. And I mean, obviously I used to work in home center ain't you, which is a gorgeous home sense. Um, but in the chill home sense though, get some class A bits. That's all I'm gonna say. Right, a major one. I don't know whether this is a tip trick or whatever, but it's actually being in the mood to actually go to HomeSense. It sounds crazy because you're like, oh, I'm always in the mood to be in HomeSense. I get that, like we all always are, but there's gonna be days where there's gonna be absolute gems hidden at the back of the shelves. And I don't mean hidden in a bad way. We might just be, oh my God, keep saying we, they might just be putting the stock out and whatever kind of row it's in, iconic piece might have just been buried at the back by accident. It's like, we're not just hiding it on purpose. We might genuinely just not know it's an amazing brand. And I can certainly say over the years that I've worked there, I've picked up on some amazing brands I would never have known of if I wouldn't have like Googled them, which will bring me to another point in a minute. But yeah, you've got to be in the mood to shop there because sometimes it can be a bit of a treasure hunt. So if you're not in the mood to find the treasure, and basically, HomeSense isn't a shop that you go to find something. HomeSense tells you what you want. Let's be honest. I've never gone to HomeSense and gone, yeah, I'm going to get that today. It's not that kind of shop. I'm going to go in and I'm going to be like, right, HomeSense. What are you telling me I need today? So go on off on that. You've, you've, you know, you're in the mood. You found this absolute gem of a product. It's got a brand on that you've never heard of. Google it. Honestly, like, I don't know whether you've ever watched Arvin Alano. Um, he's American, he's a big Home Sense fan, but over in America it's called Home Goods. And he used to educate me on my own shop because he's like, I'd say he's the Home Sense king and I'm the Home Sense queen. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, but he used to find some insane rugs with some insane prices um, and the brands that I've never even heard of. He used to tell me about and i used to go into work and be like oh my god that's the rug he found like that's the brand and some of these rugs would be like genuine wool and be like grands and grands that he'd find but we'd be selling them for like 200 pounds and i used to be like telling customers like you never guess how much he appears on this rug because as you all know i don't know about you but scousers are definitely lovers of bargains and i'm probably sure you all are too because there's nothing better than when you're like someone goes oh my god love that when they come to your house and you're like do you know what Pro bargain, you know, it was only £200 supposed to be like grand. So honestly, make sure you give it a Google. 
it might be a brand you never have heard of it might be a really expensive brand and home sense might be selling it for super cheap so definitely a big tip is to make sure you have a search of the brand and to be honest with you sometimes you can see something google the brand and then want it even though you didn't want it but now that you've seen it's like grands you somehow need it so that could be also an experience to take away honestly though working in that shop like i've learned so much about like brands and like things i've never known before like it is a such an educational experience working there especially obviously with me loving interior design and home decor anyway but honestly i learned so so much like it's such an underrated flipping um aspect of home decor like knowing brands and things like that but my brand knowledge now is like I wouldn't have known as much as I did now if I didn't have like that six years experience working there so as a customer you can build that knowledge anyway if you go in every day if you give it a google if you do your research like some of these things home sense like have sold I've seen like on Amara home and being like sorry I need that so the next one is actually such an easy one and such a big one get friendly with the staff members I know for a fact that I used to love obviously I used to love working there but I used to love chatting to people and I used to love when obviously you guys followed me Instagram and I used to put new in bits and I used to get to know customers what they like the preferences and I used to chat to people and when they come in I'd be like oh my god I think you'd love this and then they kind of you kind of build a relationship both I'd be building a relationship with a customer but also a customer would be building a relationship with me so make sure you get friendly with the staff because you know a lot of the staff who work there do actually love their job believe it or not because home sense is a gorgeous store so like make sure you get friendly with them because they'll probably be made up to have a little chat to you and also when you sort of get to know them they'll probably be more inclined to actually help you find the things you need and when you come in be more just like i don't know like i used to find like when obviously like people used to come in and be really nice to me you're sort of more lenient to sort of in a like retail face role you sort of more likely to want to help people do you know what i mean so make sure you build a relationship with them then you can ask them like what time the deliveries are so that you know that you know one of the employees in the store may have an instagram page like obviously i did so you may be able to see what's new in daily like home sense staff members are being trained like so well for customer service so honestly we are so chatty and so open um we they are so chatty and so open um, and remember we want to help you we want to help you find things like everything that that i'm telling you now isn't i know it's like secrets of what like inside the secrets kind of thing but it's actually not a secret like these are just basic things that'll help you like enjoy your experience at home sense now, my last takeaway is buy it when you see it oh my god literally if i could tell anyone who's a home sense shopper one thing this would be a buy it when you see it 99.9% .9 certain that you will never see that item again it's so so rare they only literally get like certain products year upon year that might be from sort of like not a distribution center but like i don't know what you call it to be honest with you but basically you make them in bulk and sort of over the years it's sort of the same products that you might see and be like oh i seen that last year but that's a very rare occasion let me tell you i have learned my lesson over the years that if i don't buy it there and then that's it it's gone finito i've even come home from a shift before gone back the next day after i finished work by the way on clothes gone back in like an hour after we've first opened and it's been gone so if i could give you one thing it would be that like it's going to be gone the whole like when you see it get it and like you know um once it's gone it's gone is not a joke i've just told you we've got to stock room so i don't know where i'm magically like finding this item from there's literally no way I can identify where this product's from. If you if you haven't got a picture of it, I definitely have no clue what you are talking about. So honestly, like I keep speaking as if I still work there. I'm so sorry. I'm still like in like I work there mode, and I'm not. Um. So yeah, if you see it, please, please buy it. As you know, it is a 28 day return policy at home sense. So if you get home and think, oh no, I don't like it, take it back. Absolutely fine. Otherwise, you'll regret it. There's no harm in buying it and taking it back instead of regretting it for the rest of your life. Because I remember, let me tell you a little quick story. I remember six years ago, six years ago, I started working at Home Sense and we went for training in Chester, right? And there was this gorgeous lamp that I didn't pick up, right? And I went back the next day to do obviously another training shift to buy it. It had gone. And does it haunt me in my dreams every single night? Yes, yes, it does. And do I want that to happen to you? No, no, I don't. So if I could tell you anything, 
please buy it when you see it. I've learned far too many times all about this from customers. I've had customers crying to me about the dream couch that now they can't have because someone else has bought it. I've seen it for myself. It's real, guys. It really is real. The emotional connection is real because I feel it too. So that is my biggest takeaway. Like, get it when you see it because truly you will never see it again. Yeah, that does conclude today's video. I hope you learned a few insider tips and tricks that might help you when you next go to HomeSense. If you did enjoy this video, please do let me know and make sure you subscribe whilst you are there. But yeah, I will definitely be bringing you a lot more HomeSense videos. I know obviously it's hard because I don't work there anymore, so I'm kind of not there 24-7. But obviously I'm still the HomeSense queen. The title will never, never leave me. Um, but if you want to see more videos like this, please do let me know. And if you've got any more questions as well, please do leave them in the comments below. I will happily answer any of them. But yeah, thanks so much for stopping by and I'll catch you on my next video.